what what is the overall love energy for the sign of Taurus? Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Taurus, in the recent past, we have the high priest. Now this is a very spiritual card. It often has sexual overtones. It can mean that you are in a phase where you are going to be much more physically attractive to others. Now this card is tied to the moon, to femininity, and to inspiration. So this was a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. Now, also, it would have been important that you paid attention to your dreams at that time. Keeping a dream diary or something of that type or sort would have been a good idea. And we have the High Priestess paired with the Hermit card. Now, the Hermit card, now it's, it's it's very possible that a romance from your past was rekindled. You had to ask yourself, is that what you really want? Or is that what you wanted at that time? It's probably seemed that romantic relationships were not a priority for you in the recent past. So if your head was saying, you wanted nothing more than a romantic relationship. You took a look at your behavior or that's what you needed to do. You also probably asked yourself or you should have asked yourself, does it align with that analysis? Because in a committed relationship, you could have been moving in different directions for a while if you were already committed. So you needed to make sure to make the time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. Now that's the recent past and we move on to the present. We have the death card. So with the death card when it comes to love, it pretty much shows, I don't know if you can see the picture, it's so dark, but what it's saying is that you're probably clinging to a relationship that you're very unhappy in because you don't want to let go of, let's say, familiar or familiarity or because you just hate the thought of being alone. Now, if that is the case, just just know that you're doing yourself an injustice. You're not doing yourself a favor and you're not doing your partner any favors. So have a frank, honest discussion about any problems that you're having in the relationship. And if they can't or won't make changes or you can or you cannot or you will not, then perhaps it's the time to let it go. Because we all know that not all relationships are fixable, but you should try to fix it as that being the first attempt. And we have the death card paired with the three of wands. Now, your romantic relationships are more than likely to be going well. But only if your partner is willing to treat you as an equal. If he or she is not, then it may be time to move on after you've made your complaints and your position clear. Now, if you have recently met someone new, just know that you are being held in very high regards with this new person. They are very attracted to you and they see you in a very, very positive light. So if you have met someone new, 
that's a good thing because you always want to attract light and not darkness. So, also keep in mind if you're in the market for love, but you feel as though you don't have any prospects, you're probably currently spending too much time and effort on work or career. So think about allowing more time for your personal life. And with these two cards paired together, the death card is just letting you know if you're in an unhappy relationship, uh, you're probably just clinging on to it because you don't want to experience change. And you, maybe you hate being alone. Maybe you just hate being alone. But if that's the case, you're doing yourself an injustice. And you're doing your partner an injustice. So it's paired with the three of wands. And that's letting you know if you do decide to go part your ways with the unhappy relationship if that's what you're in then um you could find a new relationship that's much better for you because the three of wands is letting you know if you meet someone they'll think very highly of you and um actually it will be a good time for a new relationship because of the way that they look at you, they're attracted to you, and they see you in high regards. And that's going to be the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles, it pretty much lets you know if you're already in a committed relationship, it points to happy, generous, fair, and balanced partnership for at least some time. So allow your lover to give you, whether that's in the material or spiritual realm, allow them to give you what you need. And at the same time, make sure you're doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. So if you are unattached but looking when this card shows up in a reading, you're more than likely to meet someone new who is positive, kind, and generous. Now, this may come about by way of introduction from someone you know. So make sure you let people know that you're in the market for a relationship or you're looking for a partner. And the Six of Pentacles is paired with the, ma the Magician. So if you're in the market for a new romance, this is definitely the time when you're likely to meet someone new. Because right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. So whether they find you or not will depend on you. So make sure you're not just sitting at home expecting Mr. or Mrs. Wright to walk to your door and knock on it. Because that probably won't happen. You need to be out there making yourself available to be found. And this is definitely an excellent time to do that. So make sure you get out there and meet people. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles. If you're already in an, an unhappy relationship, or if you're in a relationship, happy or unhappy, um, what you need to do is allow your lover to give to you in material ways and spiritual ways, and then you do the same. So it should be a, it should be more of an equal give and take type of situation. And if you're unattached, you're more than likely to meet someone with a magician card paired with this six of pentacles, because now is really a great time to meet someone new. And um, you just have to remember to get out there because it's a great time to meet people. And uh, actually, the magician is saying that you could make anything happen. You could even turn around um, an unhealthy relationship that you could be in from the Six of Pentacles. Because, like I said, the magician is all about magic, making 
things happen. And um, just remember to get out there if you're looking for love because it's out there for you. And then that is the challenge. And now we move on to the outcome. We have the Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles, it is not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to love, unfortunately. Now, just keep in mind, you may have your eye on someone you feel is not treating you the way they should. So, it may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person completely entirely. Okay, because this card, it can very much be a card about feeling left out in the cold. So it's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul fulfilled, rich, happy, meaningful relationship. There's more than one person that we can have that with. So when love is right, you don't really have to do backflips for it just to make it work. So just make sure to broaden your horizons and try hard to think positively and just know that you are a very lovable person okay so with the five of pinnacles paired with the king of cups the king of cups when it comes to love it's very very good news now there are a few cards that are more loving than the king of cups but if you you are looking for love, this can indicate that someone who is very balanced and loving is headed your way very soon. Now, in the tarot, regarding the tarot cards, they're not infallible when it comes to when it comes to let's say indicating physical characteristics but basically the cups in a tarot they'll indicate people with hair coloring on the lighter end of the spectrum uh, but it doesn't have to be it's just showing in the picture that this man he has hair very light color colored hair but like I said when you when we, when we read cards about the cups, it's usually about uh, people with light colored hair. But it doesn't have to be. You could meet a brunette or, or a dark red haired person. I mean, but the card is showing a light haired person. Okay, so, and the cups, that's what it stands for. A light haired individual. Okay, so with these two cards paired together the five of pinnacles is letting you know that it's not particularly a happy indicator when it comes to questions about love because you could be dealing with someone uh, and it could be this person from the death card from the present time that we just talked about uh, it could be that person and uh like I said, the Five of Pentacles from the outcome, it's, it's saying that you may have your eyes still on that person from the death card or wherever it could be from. They, they may not be treating you the way that they should or the way you think they should. And um, the Five of Pentacles is letting you know it's probably time to put a stop to that. And that's pretty much what the death card was saying when we talked about the present. And since the Five of Pentacles in the outcome is paired with the King of Cups, it's letting you know that it's actually a good time for love or finding romance. Okay? And it's letting you know that someone who's very balanced and loving is headed your way, they're headed your way soon. So, maybe it's time to be done with the person from the present and then 
enjoy the outcome of the King of Cups because someone who's very balanced and loving is headed your way. And once again, that is the outcome. So Taurus, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.